Miraculous healings are a real thing, but when I heard about an online course that cures people of cancer, Parkinson's, and a ton of other diseases, well, I had to... Yeah, I had to check that out. See, this is Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's an expert on the mind-body connection and has appeared on some of the top podcasts in the world, spreading the message that our brains are much more capable than we ever imagined. Through his teachings, one can learn how to rewire their own neural networks, heal their body, and even send their terminal diagnoses into spontaneous remission. He's even the author of several best-selling books and has testimonial after testimonial of people who swear these teachings have cured them of their disease. My only question is, what the heck is in this course? I mean, what knowledge is in there that is miraculously healing all these people? See, let me fill you in on the real reason I'm about to spend 300 buckaroos on this course. I'm 25 and I've been dealing with a neurodegenerative disease since I was 15. My nerves have been slowly shutting down so my hands look like pinchers. Maybe not the best pickup line, but I'm literally turning into a, a real life Mr. Krabs. I mean, look at these things, dude. I mean, it's hard to pick up things. Long story short, my nerves don't have the same strength that a regular person's does. But I was thinking if his teachings can cure all these other people of all these other diseases, Dr. Joe, can I be cured? Okay, it is the next day. I had to sleep on the decision if I really wanted to buy this course. I mean, there is more than 23 hours worth of material, things ranging from the science of changing your mind to how to change your personality to create a new reality, how to access your subconscious mind, neuroplasticity, epigenetics, the quantum model of reality. Once you purchase this course, I don't think there's any going back. I just, I bought the course. So this course is broken down into nine modules, nine main parts. Complete each one and get closer and closer to true healing. With a ton of video content and teachings to get through, there are six main meditations to complete. Now these six meditations are where the magic should happen. The brain gets rewired, the body healed, the quantum field explored, the personality changed. But first, lesson number one, understanding the power of the mind. Within the first few minutes, I was starting to get hooked. And before I knew it, I was jotting things down. My brain seemed to be firing at a different speed. Lecture after lecture was lulling me deeper into a sense of possibility. Was I starting to go into a mad spiral? <laughs> I didn't care. My dinner sat cold day turned to night, and I must admit his suit was seducing me. Could I really be on the right track to curing my disease? Is this what healing feels like? Okay, it is now day number three, so here are three quick things I learned after listening to probably six hours of lectures last night. Number one, neurons that fire together wire together. We need to think new thoughts because the new thoughts will create new actions. New actions will create new experiences, and new experiences will create a new us, essentially. Number Number two, we can activate stress just by our thoughts alone. Apparently this is a huge problem because this activates something called cortisol. I don't know what freaking cortisol is, I heard him say it. It sounded smart, I thought I'd give it a go. But essentially it puts our body into a fight or flight mode. And apparently it can literally dysregulate and downregulate gene expressions. So quite literally, your thoughts can make you sick. That means that your thoughts can heal you. But that's why the third thing he said is my favorite. What about if you thought so deeply and wired it so deeply into your brain through meditations that you already are healed, that you already have the things that you want? And what about if you were able to feel that so deeply that you lived your life as if you were healed already? Woo! Dr. Joe. Now this is all fascinating, but this is all just leading us up to the biggest moment of the entire course so far. Meditation number one. We are the creators of destiny, that's who we are. Can you become aware of the space between your eyes? I mean, I wanted to, but I couldn't. Thoughts were racing, doubt creeping, anger swirling. All these hours of studying this stupid course and I can't sit and sense space? When will this be over? When will this stop? That's all I can think about in a time where I'm supposed to be healing? 
Okay, it is now day number four, and I can't even lie to you, I'm feeling pretty defeated. I mean, I can understand little progress, I can maybe even understand no progress, but yesterday felt like negative progress. I don't know how to feel. So I looked online and I read some reviews about Dr. Joe. He is neither a doctor nor a scientist. Anyone who falsely calls themselves thus is by default a con. It is amazing how many people seem to be taken in by this guy. He preaches a mishmash of positive thinking and pseudoscience that sounds great if you don't actually analyze it. Dispenza's real strength lies in giving a message that people want to believe. And I'm sure he does know what he's talking about actually. That is making a lot of money from gullible people. I mean, am I said gullible person? Am I just silly for thinking that any of this could have actually healed me? Well, then I stumbled upon this testimony on YouTube. So in January 2022, I got diagnosed with a clinically terminal grade four brain tumor. Went through chemo and radiotherapy. But I said to Joe, I was like, I know I'm going to be okay, but my scans aren't showing that what should i do and joe says just keep going the last battle is so important so many people stand on the stage and they say i always kind of believed in this i, I believed it worked i just didn't believe it would work for me that means you got to do the work if you don't show up you don't do the work you don't believe it could happen to you if you believed it could happen to you you would show up and say why am i doing this well i do know why i'm doing this and part of me thinks if he could cure his brain tumor then surely i can cure my neurodegeneration right? Look, I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but I think a part of me was just hoping that this was even possible. Maybe it's just like Joe said, I just have to start doing the work. And that's when things actually started to change. I made the decision that no matter if I believe in these teachings or not, I'm going to do the work. I'll sit through lecture after lecture, hour after hour, if it meant even the slightest chance of something positive happening. Even when it didn't. When you're forced to sit in frustration, doubt, guilt, fear, why am I doing this? It only made me listen more thoroughly to the teachings, writing down more notes, trying to ingrain these lessons in my brain. What am I missing? Replaying testimony after testimony, hearing the stories of people who have actually healed. Could I become like them? I mean, I don't see why not. Meditation after meditation until okay it is now day seven and we are finally on to our last meditation of this entire course to be honest i'm hoping for something to happen i mean throughout the last five meditations and more than 20 hours of lectures in this course it's been interesting it's been fun but i don't know if i've had some experience that's really made all this time worth it so far and breathe in the power of love and breathe out any limitation within you. For the first time this entire week, I had an experience where I got past those self-limiting emotions. I know it sounds corny, but it was actually powerful enough to make me tear up at parts. And when I opened my eyes, these were the two things that completely shocked me about the experience. Number one, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but last night in the middle of the night, I woke up and was just laying in my bed. As I was laying there, I felt a presence over by the door. And I remember just putting the pillow like over my eye not wanting to like interact with that. I know that sounds crazy. When I was deep in this final meditation, I was actually moved to tears at one point because I realized in the meditation that that presence in the room was me in the meditation coming back and like checking in on myself and basically being like hey like you don't have to worry like everything's gonna be fine now the second crazy thing that happened was earlier we talked about what about if you could feel like you are already healed and live in that experience and in that meditation i got a glimpse of that i was able to put myself into a state of gratitude where i felt like i already am healed everything already is okay once again i know these are two kind of like slightly off the wall things but this is what i felt in my final meditation after like 20 freaking hours of lectures like five other meditations it all led up to this one and as interesting as this last meditation experience was we do have one last thing to talk about is this course worth $300 and can it potentially cure cancer? Okay, I have three quick thoughts on that. Okay, number one, the course is not a quick fix and it's not a magic pill. You're not just gonna listen to the teachings and miraculously heal yourself in two or three days. He mentions throughout the course that sometimes people have done meditations every single day for two years until they got the results that they wanted. But that leads us to the second thing. If you're naturally skeptical like I am, this course can be hard to get into because it's similar to religion. 
education. It requires a certain amount of blind belief in what you're learning. But if you really want the benefits of this teaching, you are going to have to buy in with a strong amount of faith. Because look, at the core of it all, would Dr. Joe's teaching actually make sense? You need to acknowledge your old thoughts, create new thoughts. Those new thoughts will create new actions, new actions will create new experiences, and new experiences will create a new you. Which leads us to the third and final thing. Can this course actually cure cancer or neurodegeneration? I'm not going to sit here and say it can't. There's tons of testimonies of people online who say they have been healed by these teachings. If you really want this to work, there needs to be a belief so strong in what you're learning, there's no room for skepticism. So if you don't think you can give your blind belief to these teachings, then I think it's going to be very hard for you to get your money's worth of $300 for the course. But if you are somebody who is willing to give their absolute belief to these teachings, then I think it's like with anything. When you believe in something so deeply, that's when miracles can happen. And if Dr. Joe's teachings get you there, who am I to say that no, it won't work?